if you think that uh, the police killing of black people is a high priority, or even should be, let's say should be a high priority, for the black community, you don't know how to count. Because the total number of people that will ever be killed by the police will be a pinprick compared to how many people, how many lives are destroyed by the school unions, um, the teachers' unions, restricting the ability for teaching to become good, better than it is. And they're not even close in terms of death count. So I don't think I could have even said that directly a month ago. But I feel like, you know, now that, now that the, the temperature is changing a little bit and uh, we're seeing that the teachers' unions are basically holding our children hostage, think about, think about the fact that the teachers' unions are basically holding our children hostage. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I, I tweeted something that I thought I would get more pushback from and didn't, I don't think I got any. Uh, imagine what I'm going to say right now that I got no pushback from, that I've seen, and tons of retweets. So this is very popular with nobody pushing back yet. And I tweeted, it's time for all Americans to join together in fighting our common enemy, the teachers' unions. And then I provocatively went on. If you think they haven't indirectly killed more black Americans than the police, you haven't been paying attention. Because education, economics, and safety are linked. So my contention is that if the school unions had been doing their job for the last few decades, the education of black America would be far better. Because it's not, it's not that the teachers don't do a good job individually. It's that the teachers' unions prevent competition, which means that there's a limit to how good anybody can be. There's no competition. So if, you had, if they had not existed and there was competition and education had improved in the way you would expect in a competitive environment, imagine how much better off the black community would be and everybody who was in a low-income situation. So we, we don't even need to limit this to any group. But because we're talking about Black Lives Matter, I'll just, I'll just say that the Black Lives Matter people have been duped into pursuing their lowest priority. They have been duped. Now, imagine imagine even, uh, I don't know, even a month or two ago that I could say this without being canceled. And the only reason I can say it now without being canceled is everyone knows it's true. All right? Until everybody knew it was true, I kind of couldn't say it. And it's this. If you think that If you think that uh, the police killing of black people is a high priority, or even should be, let's say should be a high priority, for the black community, you don't know how to count. Because the total number of people that will ever be killed by the police will be a pinprick compared to how many people, how many lives are destroyed by the school unions, um, the teachers' unions, restricting the ability for teaching to become good, better than it is. And they're not even close in terms of death count. We're talking about you know, education being the alpha problem for everyone, <laughs> basically for everyone, you know, not just the black community. But if you don't get that right, the education part, you don't get your economics right, you don't get your good quality of life, you don't get your national defense, the country's done. As bad as the tragedies are in these police incidents, and very much we should work on it, right? There's, you don't interpret anything I say as we should not try to make that the best situation we can make it and experiment a little bit there. We should. But let's not confuse it for the top priority for anybody. It's not the, if you think black lives matter, that's not the priority. If you think Black Lives Matter, you would, you know, you'd say, "Well, I hope we do better on this police stuff." But let's let's talk about the teachers' unions. That's when Black Lives Matter. Um, so I don't think I could have even said that directly a month ago, but I feel like, you know, now that now that the the temperature is changing a little bit, and uh, we're seeing that the teachers' unions are basically holding our children hostage. 
Think about, think about the fact that the teachers' unions are basically holding our children hostage. Yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy.